and welcome to my latest video. So today we are going to make some, just like regular hand tails, into these half aprons. So I got a pack of two, so this is what it's going to look like when it's done. And I've also made one with this really fun striped um, towel. So this is a great gift for the holidays coming up. It's really easy because you're just sewing a ribbon to the top and um, it's really fun to make. You can choose lots of really cool towels to um, make a gift. I would, I would love a gift like this. I think it would be good to give for teachers or neighbor gifts because they're so easy and if you buy a pack of two it's pretty cheap. Um, you could even get a pack, you know some of those like tea towels come in like a pack of five or ten and you could just make a whole bunch of them. So it's just a great gift idea and it's really easy to sew. So we are going to make this one, this is kind of a fall, maybe Thanksgiving theme, maybe this is something that you would bring for a, um, like a Thanksgiving hostess gift would be great. So. We are going to get started, and so I have a ribbon that matches, and this is already cut, this is probably one yard, let me see, one, two, no, this is about four feet, so for me, it would be a little bit small. But this was all that came, when I bought the ribbon for this and this, it came a certain amount and I cut it in two for this and for this. So I was kind of stuck with what I had. Um, if you're doing anything, if you want really like a long bow, then I would do like two to three yards. I think this one was a pack. I don't remember how big the pack was. But this one is definitely longer, and I like how long the bow is on this one. So when I'm making a, a tie, if you were doing a bow with ribbon, I would just overestimate because you would rather have it too long than too short. So let me turn my machine on. I've already put some gold thread in, and the first thing you need to do is check to find where the tag is. So this tag on this um, towel is on the side, which is just fine and I don't need to hide it. When I did this one, the tag was on the long side and I hid it right here so it wouldn't hang out down here at the hem. And this is when I hang this up in my pantry, this is how I hang it up. And on this one, I'm gonna hang it up with this. So just make sure that your tag is um, out of the way so it's not going to be peeking out somewhere. And then you find the center of your long side like this and you're going to add, let's see, you're going to add a pleat and you want the pleat to go towards the um, outside you want it to be a box pleat but do you want you want it to be coming out because it's more a little more flattering so I'm I'm eyeballing it but I've made three already so I know what I want so if you see this this is open and then I close it and when you see the front has this nice box pleat right here on the front. This across here, this is about an inch and a half, and you can use pins or clips to hold this, and we're gonna baste this in place before we sew the ribbon on. So let me know if you have questions, and I will answer them right there in the comments. If you have questions about the pleat or the towels, I chose to use a really fluffy towel because when whenever I'm baking I'm constantly wiping my hands on 
my apron. It's just a habit I got into, and so I like to have it really absorbent because I'm basically using it like a towel. And But you can use a tea towel, which is a little more for protection than it would be for, like, absorbing water. So it depends on, you know, what kind, what you're going for. So I'm going to turn my machine up to um, a basting stitch. I'm just going to hold this in place because um, I'm trying to go fast and get everything done in the video. And I'm just going to baste. I'm basting pretty close to the edge because I don't want the basting stitches to show later. But I want this pleat to stay in place because it makes it easier when I'm sewing the ribbon on. So let's trim that off. So there's that pleat right in place. So since this is a smaller towel, I just did one pleat at the top um, to make it a little bit smaller across the front. But on this one, this is a much bigger towel. So let me show you the, the length at the hem. So see how this comes much wider. And so I added four pleats up here because um, it was so much wider at the top. I needed to bring it in more at the bottom. You can already see I have stains on here from using it a lot. So it's your preference. If the person you're making it for um, is larger, then you would go with a larger towel and but still add a couple of pleats. Um, it really depends on the look you're going for and the person you're making it for if you want to do two pleats or four pleats. You can do lots of little ones, you can do just big ones. It's kind of you get to customize it how you want. So then you take your ribbon, and these edges are raw, and since these are aprons, we're gonna wash them a lot, we want to finish, we want to hem it. So I fold it over a quarter of an inch, and then another quarter of an inch, and then I'm gonna sew with a regular stitch. I'm gonna sew across the t that hem so that um, it, so the raw edge is enclosed and it won't unravel. And since I'm using a nice gold thread, it just is going to blend right in. I don't have to change my thread. And then I go to the other side over here, and I want to make sure that I'm going towards the same side so that there's a definite um, wrong a back side and a front side, you want the hem to roll towards the inside of the ribbon. So we're going to do this side. Now I grabbed some clips because I don't want to just sew this. I want this to be lined up really nicely. So I'm clipping my ribbon right here to the edge so the edge of the ribbon is to the edge of the towel. And I want to go all the way across the top. So this is all lined up. And I'm going to sew at about a quarter of an inch regulation stitch right here across the top to attach the ribbon. So I'm moving my first clip out of the way and it's go really slow when you're doing this part because it's pretty thick to sew through especially when you get to the pleats. So try not to speed through this part because you want it to look nice and you want your machine to be okay with going through all those layers. You can see if I have any funny faces while I'm sewing. 
you make funny faces while you sew? I want to know if you make funny faces while you sew. Or maybe you don't know. But I'm sure everyone makes a specific sewing face. to the end. So pull it out and trim that. So this is sewn right there to the top. And the last thing we're going to do, so we open this up and this seam right here, this is pretty bulky because it's sewing through the pleat. There's this original hem from the towel plus the ribbon. So it's all kind of thick and you don't want someone to wear it and have it in the way. So what you need to do is we are going to sew this seam allowance down away from the ribbon. So it's going to be even thicker when you sew this one because you're, you're going to sew this seam allowance down. So I'm going to sew from the front because I want my top stitching to look really clean and nice, which you can only get when you're sewing from the top. And I'm going to go slow so that my top stitching looks good and that my machine can make it through all these layers. keep feeling with my hands to make sure that the, the seam allowance is towards the towel. You see how the seam allowance is now coming this way? You want the seam allowance to come towards the towel. So it's more comfortable to wear. get to the pleats, it's really thick right here at the pleats. And I'm just going really slow, letting my machine pull the fabric. to trim some threads later but this is a really pretty apron that is perfect for gifts and all of the edges are already finished for you because it's a towel you can find some find some really good prints and you just need to find some matching ribbon the one thing I will suggest is that since this towel we're putting it the long ways goes horizontal you can't have words because the words will face um, They'll look like this. 
there's a picture or words or something, it will be this way facing, you know, out like this with that being the bottom. And you don't want someone to wear it with the picture being sideways. So pick a print or stripes um, or a solid, something that can be turned on its side and it won't matter. And if you really want to later and you have a cutting machine, you could add the funny saying or the iron on vinyl, you could add it to the corner so you still get that. But I'm happy with just the print. I like this really pretty gold um, leaves with the ribbon. So um, please like this video and share it with someone who maybe you can ask them if they want this for Christmas or share this with someone, maybe they'll make it for you if you share this video with them. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!